Hello, Leonid. Nice to see you again. Here we are on the eve of the season. First of all, what's your team news for tomorrow? Uh, we don't have any news. It's about injury players. It's the same situation. Long injury time. It's uh, Keen, Dubayo, Mason, Marshall. I think maybe we'll be ready from in two weeks. And that's it. And our players is ready to play tomorrow. Okay. Uh, have you decided on your starting eleven based on your uh, pre-season? Yeah, yes, I, I have decision about starting eleven. Yes, today we will have a theoretical lesson after training session, and we'll we'll speak about opponent teams, about principles, about tactics. But I don't ready uh, s uh, speak uh, about starting eleven. But in my head, I, I have decision. Sure. Are you likely to make any signings before kick-off tomorrow? Any new signings? I think no, and I think it's um, last time a big focus on the new players. Yes, it's a new signing, and I think it's a little bit unfair situation to for players who stay here. I like players. I like team. I am really very happy working with with great players. We really have a good squad, a good starting eleven, a lot of leaders, and now, for me, better speaking about players who will play tomorrow. Of course, we waiting uh, new players, but uh, it's impossible sign today, for example, and play tomorrow because it's it's not serious. And we really have a, a good squad, a good players, a serious core, and we we are ready to play tomorrow. Which areas of the team, when you are able to sign new players, because you've got until the end of August, which areas of the field, which positions do you need to strengthen? Oh, it's it's a difficult question uh, because again, each position. If I if I speaking about each position, players who is in the team thinking, oh, I am not good because coach find another player on my place. Yes, again, we are really waiting some new players in in some position in defense, midfield, and attack. It's a normal situation, but really, uh, each new players must be uh, win serious competition with the players who is who is in the team now and who is training all preseason. Yes, and I think we have a core. And uh, maybe we will change a uh, starting 11, one or two position maximum. Okay, uh, let's talk about the match if we may, because this is what it's all about now. We're into the uh, real business of the season. What do you know about Aston Villa? Very good team, very solid, good traditional, good squad, good coach. Everything is good. Uh, and I watched last match against Otford. Uh, at the stadium uh, and uh, yes really good team very strong but like each team Aston Villa have a strength and weakness and we will try use his weaknesses and will play on our strengths when you look overall at the championship which of the teams that you th do you think are going to be the main rivals for promotion this year very difficult question because I think it's only my opinion. In this season, uh, in championships, uh, we don't have a really super favorite like Newcastle last season. Yes, I think six or seven teams uh, we have the same chances to promotion in the, this season, and I think it's really very interesting situation for for supporters, for journalists, for teams, for players, because really each each team from se from I don't know seven or, or eight teams have a serious chance to promotion. I think it's not a serious surprise. It's uh, Aston Villa, Middles Middlesbrough, Sunderland, Fulham, Sheffield, Hull. I think it's a very interesting situation, especially in this season. Could you get promoted with the strength of the squad that you currently have, or do you need more players? 
Each coach always dream about uh, some new players. If you have uh, 20 good players, you think, oh, it's better, uh, we'll have one or two more. If you have uh, 25, you, you continue to dream about new players. But now, uh, really, it's my message today, very serious message. I like my team. Uh, I like players. I'm very happy working with with players. It's really good players, good uh, leader quality, skill, character. And now I am 100% focused on the squad way I, I have today. And really, I like this team. Uh, well, Mike, uh, how many seasons is this for you? What, what number is this one for you? Um, you're not the first person to ask me that. I think it's 17. Um, so yeah, it's been a it's been a good pre-season, long pre-season, uh, but looking forward to the season now. Right at the start of pre-season, you reckoned it was the hardest session that you'd ever had. Is that because the session was harder that you're getting older and slower? Well, <laughs> 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 maybe a little bit of both. No, I think the the, the first session we'd done with uh, with the manager it was it was certainly a tough one and up there. We were one of my hardest I'd done for, for many years uh, and the pre-season for the, certainly the first nine days it was was grueling, uh, two sessions a day and the sessions were, were certainly tough so but it was, it was it's all about getting the work under your belt uh, and we did that and then we went off to Portugal for 12 days where obviously we, we were still training hard but preparing for games as well. And how were those games? Play three of them, you seemed to get better as the games went along. Yeah I mean obviously the first two you're always a little bit rusty you know the the environment was a little bit different, uh, and then the third game, uh, proper proper stadium against Benfica, a top team, uh, plenty of supporters for Benfica, not too many for, for us. But the the game, I thought we the way we we played uh, and our physical stats were were good, and we we started to getting up to up to scratch then. Good. Tell us about Leonard Slutsky and how you've found him as the, the manager, first Russian, of course, uh, in the in the league. What's he been like? Yeah, he's been he's been great. You know, he's he's very approachable. Obviously, being captain, you you speak uh, regular. I spoke to him over the summer when he was when he was announced as manager. Uh, you know, his language is to say he's only been lear learning it for five or six months is incredible. So that's that's great to him. He's he's always learning. He's he's getting points across with the lads, uh, and he's certainly trying to get the best out of us all. Have you noticed his language skills actually improving in the time that uh, he's been here? Because obviously he's made the point that he's speaking more English now than he ever has. Yeah, I mean, obviously the first day, you, you could see he was he was sat up here and he's he's taking his first probably meeting in front of thirty people, uh, speaking the language. So it was probably a little bit daunting for him. But now he's uh, the way he is. He's he's uh, like I say, he's spoken. He he said he's very open. He's He's, he's relaxed, but I've, I've certainly seen the other side of him as well in, in, in the pre-season games when he's not being happy. So he's, he's one of them when uh, the standards are high and training's good and you're performing well, he's, he's certainly nice and relaxed and uh, uh, a bubbly kind of character. In football, things uh, are always moving and of course uh, you've lost uh, a, a number of players this summer. Tom Huddleston and Elmo come to mind. Uh, troops that have gone into battle with you over many years. How much are you going to miss them? Oh, of course, we've got, you, you've named two players there. There's, there's Harry, uh, Robbo, Heldin, uh, Curtis. There's, there's players that have moved on that were big characters, big players for us, uh, and good pros. So, you know, you, you lose them kind of players, it's, it's tough. But the managers look to, to bring in uh, and try and replace them, and, and, and we still need to keep doing that. We've brought, obviously, Kevin from Liverpool, uh, Ola, Mike, uh, and a few of the young lads who have been at the football club being out on loan. Uh, we're getting the opportunity and had a great pre-season, so it's uh, it's a great opportunity for them. But I certainly know the club needs to, uh, and they need to keep looking to improve, bring a few players in to, to give us a fighting chance for, for what we all dream of being at the end of the season, or certainly in 12 months' time as a Premier Premier League team. Sure, who are you going to be in main rivals, do you think, when you're fighting out at the top of the table, Mike, if you're looking at the Championship? Yeah, I mean, the, ch the Championships, it's, it's such a uh, <coughs> competitive league. You know, we know the rewards. It's the teams that are wanting, the teams that are spending an awful, awful lot of money, uh, crazy money. You you would say in the championship, and obviously, team we're coming up against a, uh, on Saturday, being Villa, they're a, a team uh, that they've they've got the firepower to to go out and spend. The the players have they've attracted, attracted obviously in in John Terry is uh, is incredible. Uh, Middlesbrough 
a team that came down with, with ourselves that have kept a, the core of the team uh, been there before they're a team you've got obviously the two that, that missed out with Reading and, and Fulham uh, Sheffield Wednesday Team, teams go on I'm, I'm sure I've missed teams there the, the, you, you look around there is probably 10 teams fighting to uh, to go up 